What is going on everyone? Today we're going to be doing a guide over how to get your Caravel or your Gallius. Building these boats can seem a little daunting as it's a bunch of new items, but hopefully this guide can help make it very easy and simple for you. Before we go over what materials you all need, the first thing I want to go over is a daily quest line you can get up at Crow's Nest. To get to Crow's Nest, it's going to be north of Ilya Island. There's going to be an island named Timbera Island. If you go straight north of that into the Ross Sea, you'll see an outline of an island up here. This would be Crow's Nest. You can see where I am on the southwest side of Crow's Nest, and this is where you want to be, as you'll see a little cave over here. So we're going to run up that cave. Now that we come to this point, you'll see this NPC here, Ravinia. She's going to have three quests for you at the start. This is going to be very important that you ignore these two quests. The ship upgrade quest is not the right thing. This is just to exchange, to exchange one of your brilliance for another. It's going to be brilliant rot salt ingots and brilliant pearls. And all this is is a way for you to exchange them. What there is going to be is a third quest, and the reward will be a wiggly waggly letter. That's the quest you want. She offers you seven quests, one quest each day, and the rewards from doing the wiggly waggly letter are going to be what you're after. Doing this daily quest is going to really help you out getting you some of those bottlenecks needed on building your ship, as well as it's going to save you a lot of money. So I highly suggest you do this quest chain. Now, you can park an alt out here, because a lot of the quests will tell you to do something like go talk to a friend who's in Olvia. Well, instead of sailing all the way out here, then sailing back to Olvia, then sailing out here again, you can leave your alt out here that accepted the quest, hop to another alt, talk to a friend, then hop back. That will save you a lot of time when doing this quest. Just know whoever accepts the very first quest, that's who you're going to have to do the quest on for the rest of them. Alright, so now that we got the daily quest thing settled, let's actually look at the materials needed over here on the right. As you can see, you're going to need plus 10 old Ephiria gear. We will get this gear over in Port Ephiria. So let me hop over there real quick and then I'll show you where to buy it. So to buy our old Ephiria gear, we need to head to Port Ephiria, which will be northwest of Calpheon. And we need to come over here to talk to our homie Filiberto Fasali. Filiberto Fasali will sell you the old Ephiria set for 3.5 to 4 mil a piece. And when you go to upgrade this gear, it's going to be 100% success rate, but it needs Verdant Blackstones, which is a new type of uh, Blackstone for you for this gear. So we're going to need quite a bit of these verdant blackstones and there's two ways to get them. One, that daily quest chain that we're doing should set us up with about 110 of these, but that's not quite all that you need. So for the rest of these, what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to start doing some level 1 barters. And by any dwarf manager, it's going to be these trade good exchange NPCs. And if you look at their exchange, you can trade any of the level 1 barters for this voucher. Now this voucher can be exchanged for one verdant blackstone. So you're going to end up having to save about 110 of these as well. But that will be how you get all your stones. And that will complete everything you need to get the old Ethereum gear to plus 10. And you're ready to go there. So we're going to look at the next three items in the same group. You need 100 graphite ingots for upgrade, 100 timber for upgrade, and 100 adhesive for upgrade. Doing those daily quests will give us about 50 of these, so you're going to be halfway there already just by doing those daily quest chains. Now we can go over how to actually make these for the rest. So how are we going to make these other 50 of each of these? Well, the graphite ingots are going to be made by melting one sea monster ooze with 100 zinc ingots. The timber will be by melting, or chopping rather, 100 old tree bark with 100 tree lumps and one sea monster ooze. And the adhesive will be heating white cedar sap, acacia sap, elder tree sap, 
100 of each of these with one sea monster use. So that means we're going to need 5,000 of each of these items and 150 sea monster ooze. So to get the sea monster ooze, it's going to be easy enough. We just have to kill Hungry Hecaru or Hungry Ocean Stalker. They're going to be pretty easy kills. They're not going to be far out at sea at all. You can find them all over the place over along this area. There's going to be three of the Hecarus up here west of Lima or east of Lima Island and yeah it'll be pretty simple for you to get that 150 because they always drop about 30 to 40 at a time all right so let's look at getting these other materials now you can buy them off of the market but it can be fairly expensive you can see the zinc ingots here are about 42,000 each so if you were to buy all 5,000 that you need it would cost you about 210 mil. Now you could go ahead and buy that or you can start setting up some workers for this. You have three nodes over here that are fairly easy in media for it. There's Ancient, Ancient Fisher, you have Omar Lava Cave down here, and you also have the Abandoned Iron Mines. All three of these nodes can get you the iron that you need. and if we're going to be looking at Media, let's go ahead and look up here at Media Northern Highlands. These two nodes up here can get you that old tree bark that you need. Old tree bark can be fairly expensive as well. I believe it's roughly 21k. About 20k right now. But you can get those two nodes if you want to save on that. And what tends to be one of the harder things would be the sap. So let's look at the sap nodes real quick. So looking at the sap nodes, we got two for white cedar, one you would already have at Media Northern Highlands. The next one will be down at Elric Shrine. For a second white cedar node, your acacia, uh, acacia sap will be over here at Stonetail Wasteland for your acacia. And there's three for Elder Tree Sap, but we're only going to look at two. If you go to Alta Nova, then go northeast. There's going to be Veterans Cannon, as well as Orgo Rock Belt. Both of these nodes will have your Elder Tree Sap. And keep in mind, each of these saps, you need about 5,000 of each. You can power through and gather some of this. They are going to be highly contested on the market as the market price cap on those is fairly low. So yeah, that's how you're going to be getting your sap. I do need to point out, I did leave out the red tree lumps. That was kind of intentional. I do not see this as a bottleneck as they're very cheap on the market. I believe they're all under 4000 right now. So you can just buy that one off the market fairly easily. Alright, so the next thing we need to look at are these island tree coated plywoods and the rock salt ingots. And we can look over here to make it nice and simple. To get these you would have to barter a level 2 trade good for these materials. As you can see here with the island tree coated plywood it would take either filtered water, navarro seed cucumber, or pirate gold coin. That means these are the only three that you need. So keep a stash of at least one of these in your storage whenever you see these come up because that might be what you need for the island tree coated plywood. And the same thing would apply with these rock salt ingots, just make them conch cell ornaments, balance stone, pegdoa, not sure about that word, or urchin spines. You just want one of each of these, that way whenever you see this barter come up, you're able to go do it. Okay, so now we're on to the last two items. Now this is where it's going to vary a little bit from the Caravel to the Gallius, but let's look at the Caravel first. We still need these deep sea memory filled glues and the seedweed stalks. Now, in game if you head up to Aquila's Eye, which is going to be straight north of Lima Island, if you just head north of Velia, and hit Lima, and then up here is Aquila's Eye. Now up at the northwestern area, that's where you can dock. And the wharf manager's right here. Now I've already done this quest, however, this is a quest from this wharf ma manager to barter five times. 
very easy very simple to do and as you can see this deep sea memory glue is right here as a reward so you can choose that and you'd be set we have one other quest here if we head up these stairs we can head over towards the beach and on the beach is our otter friend Kurio and he will have two quests for us over here now these quests are normally part of sailies if you're going to be doing your sailies trying to gear up your uh, Caravel, Caravel or Gallius with blue gear you're going to be doing these every day but he has two quests over here to give him coral so what I like to do is I like to have this stuff pre-gathered so I can just pull out my coral and I can chat with him and over 10 normal coral pieces and you can see here's our seed weed stocks now if we look through our list that's going to be every item needed for the caravel done you're golden you know how to build a caravel now now if we're looking at a gallius there's going to be a couple other things that are different scrolling down to the gallius we don't need that rock salt ingot instead we need tie dyed standardized timber squares and we need cobalt ingots as well as moon scale plywood now we'll go over getting those to get the tie dyed standardized squares there's going to be a soldier here it's going to be next to that wharf manager npc from before he gives us three quests one of them is to kill two young sea monsters and he'll give you three tie-dyed standardized squares for doing so so run that a couple days and you have your tie-dyed standardized squares with the tie-dyed standardized squares taken care of we're on to the cobot ingots now this is going to be another thing that you do level two trade barters for i do not know which items it is particularly but keep your eye out and keep a stash of level 2's if you're building the Gallius. And the last item we have to go over for a Gallius would be 10 moon scale plywood. This one's going to be a little bit more advanced than the other ones. But you would have to do your 3 kill quest right here with this soldier which is going to be 2 young sea monsters, 1 Hecaru, 1 ocean stalker. And that will unlock 3 quests from this wharf manager allowing you to kill other things what you would have to do is collect the quest to kill a cannonum once you kill a cannonum the reward would be the tan moon scale plywood this would be part of a sellies run so if you can join anyone who already does sellies this would be perfect for you it'll get you the tan moon scale plywood you need as well as it would knock out that other quest for, from uh, the soldier as well but there you go, we've gone over how to get every single item for both Caravel and Gallius in this video. Hopefully this helped you out, hopefully it shortened it a bit, made it less overwhelming where you can just hear where or how to get each thing. Anyways, I hope this helped out, I hope you enjoyed, you all take care and have a wonderful day.